हेलो वन वेलकम टू अपना शो मेरा नाम है आशीष जैन और हर बार की तरह अपना शो में इस बार फिर हम आपके लिए लेके आए हैं एक अचीवर को टुडेज अचीवर इज मिस्टर सत्या बी मित्रा सत्या इज अ पीएचडी ही इज अ एनरोल्ड एजेंट एंड ही इज अ सी एफ पी विच इज सर्टिफाइड फाइनेंशियल प्लानर सत्या इज द फाउंडर एंड ओनर ऑफ द गुरु टैक्स एंड फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेस ही इज ऑल्सो करंट प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द इंडियन अमेरिकन फोरम फॉर पॉलिटिकल एजुकेशन so let's go and talk to satya how he came here how he reached this place what stories he has to share with us and where he is going forward welcome satya very nice to be here nice to have Pleasure. you here so uh, satya tell us about uh, like your journey to us how you came into us and where you started your career from okay well, i came to united states uh, in 1976 and uh, primarily i came here with an intent to pursue my career in biomedical research okay so i did my phd back home in biochemistry and then i got an opportunity to come here in louisville kentucky school of medicine to do biomedical research okay mm-hmm. and that was the primary reason what brought me here the and then i finished my you know research there postdoctoral fellowship there then i got a job in worcester massachusetts in one of the companies then known as egng okay. mason research institute mm-hmm. and there i was hired as a scientist to continue my pursuance on biomedical research there okay. and that's how i moved to worcester mass and that's how it all began mm-hmm. but then uh, of course the curiosity must be that how i'm in the profession of tax and investment and financial planning right and uh, there is an interesting story probably that i could give you in short mm-hmm. uh, is uh, when i moved to massachusetts or worcester from kentucky there was a big difference in the culture of okay. south versus east coast right and i started making friends and, and just yes, how sure. how uh, old is this story like when was this well i moved to worcester in 1982 1982 so okay. i was 6 years in louisville kentucky okay. where of course i did my post doctoral fellowship and then i got the position in the medical school as an uh, you know uh, associate assistant professor okay. in the department of uh, obgyn but then i was looking for some corporate position mm-hmm. and then i got hired in worcester so that's how i moved to the right. uh, job in egng mason research institute however when i started making you know friends and socializing in this area i found people were not the same as they were in louisville kentucky okay. here people are like more business oriented mm-hmm. more like always looking into doing some investment making money and really more into that kind of entrepreneurship. You know, opportunities yeah. entrepreneurship so and every weekend my wife and i will go you know make friends uh they will all talk about such things right. they'll ask me to be their partner to invest with them buy properties invest in stocks bonds and they were all beyond me mm-hmm. to be very frank with you i do my science i go to my lab do my research write my papers and that's what i was dedicated uh, right. in the profession however every weekend when we started you know meeting these people and they kept on talking such things i told one day to my wife that look and you know, i cannot understand well what they talk, they talk and yeah. I, at least i got to understand what they say so i'd like to take some courses you know just to get familiar with, with the subject matter yeah. and so i can speak and understand their language mm-hmm. and that kind of pushed me to go and start taking some pre- you know preliminary courses on accounting finance taxes right and that's where it all started with mm-hmm. an intent just to be like more like curiosity right and as i started studying those uh, subjects somehow the tax law of united states of america so it fascinated me mm-hmm. maybe because i have been in research doing science and research oriented uh, i found that there were a lot of you know permutation combination you can mm-hmm. do with the law and as i studied more and more i found it very fascinating mm-hmm. so i went on taking all levels of courses and then uh, passed those uh, exams and I was very open to my boss in my work I told him that I was taking these courses and one day he told me that you know if you are taking all these courses uh, you might as well work somewhere in the evening to find out the real world okay so I started working in the evening with an intent to really understand the Financial subject world better yeah. and I used to work for because I had uh, taken a lot of courses in tax laws so I started working for IDS which is at that time was American Express 
they used to have a tax section okay. in their department. They used to do prepare taxes. So I was there in the evening. I also worked for H and R Block. So that's what how I got started. You know, mm -hmm. initially doing tax returns of different people, and I have always been like people oriented. Mm -hmm. I always you know like to work for people. And as I continued to work, I found that this was a different avenue that gives me a good connection with people. Right. You know, one-on-one -on -one basis, their feedback, and everybody sort of seemed like started liking the way I did their work, I presented and explained. Maybe my science background was very helpful, helpful in that. because I was logical, I understood the chemistry behind it, and I made it very clear to them. And I saw more and more people will come and say, I want an appointment with him. So I could see a different path that was developing for me, okay. although I never thought that I'll do this for bread and butter. Mm -hmm. And that's how I started, you know, doing the evening, sort of like uh, getting into it job in different places. And then uh, 1989, when, um, you know, time came and I thought, well, let me challenge myself and see how much really I have learned this subject. Mm -hmm. So Internal Revenue Service has an exam called Special Enrollment Exam. Mm -hmm. I said, well, I'll appear for that. And okay. there they test you very thoroughly on all tax laws, mm -hmm. individual, corporation, partnership, you know, all kinds of tax laws. It's a tough exam to pass. Okay. Even today, I think as I understand, only 5% people pass in one shot. Okay. There are four parts of the exam and you got to clear all four all parts four. and they allow you two chances. Okay. Like you take it first time, say you passed one and didn't clear the three, you got one more chance to clear all other three. Mm -hmm. If you clear only one, you got to take all four again. Okay. So it was, and, and they don't allow you to take calculators, at least at my time. Right. You just said you do, do everything it yourself. in your mind and do them. And they test you thoroughly in all those different areas of tax laws. So I said, well, let me see if I have really understood the subject to be a good proof of how much I have learned. Sure, no. So I prepared and appeared for that exam. And fortunately, I passed all four parts. Mm -hmm. And I now suddenly got a federal license to, to work, be a tax consultant. to be a tax consultant in all 50 states. Wow. It's a little different than CPAs. Uh, it gives you a designation called EA, mm -hmm. which is Enrolled Agent, licensed by the Internal Revenue Service to practice tax laws okay. in all 50 states. Mm -hmm. So I now thought, well, now I got a license. Do I do and although it? I really did not have any intention to really do this as my practice. But you know, something else happened on the side is we came across uh, a guru, mm -hmm. a family priest as you mm -hmm. call. And uh, he, we became his disciple. And I thought it was his blessing that which really there. helped me to pass this tough exam. Uh, by that time I had, we had two children and with a family, with a full-time job. I really didn't think that I will clear all four that easily, mm -hmm. but for whatever reason, so we credited this to his blessing. Right. So I went to India with that license, and I met him in his ashram, mm -hmm. you know, where he was doing uh, a prayer to Jagadhatri, you know, Mata. Mata Jagadhatri. Yeah. So I met him, and I uh, seeked his permission. I said, uh, Guru Dev, I got this license, and it allows me to practice tax laws now. But if I do anything at all, I'd like to name it after you mm -hmm. because uh, I think it's your blessing which has helped me. So, so that's how the guru takes. Yeah, so then he said, he was doing the puja. He you know, asked me to come closer to him. And this was a fascinating time, a very memorable time for me that uh, he called me closer and he was wearing a long garland while he was doing puja. He took that garland off of him and put it on me and said that, Yes, uh, you can use my name, uh, provided you can use this vehicle to help people in the community.